Canadians are known worldwide as being nice, kind, and polite. But there's always someone who wants to spoil our reputation. <laughs> This is the place to learn about food, stereotypes, culture, and all things Canadian. So let's go, eh? The Canada Goose is not only native to Canada, but covers much of North America, and they winter in the southern portion of the continent in northern Mexico and the Gulf Coast. Then why is this goose associated with Canada? It appears that the historical nesting grounds prior to European colonization were in southwestern Ontario and the southern prairies. Its name comes from the Latin Branta Canadensis, as the geese were often seen flying towards Canada. And of course, Canadensis means from Canada. So, we got stuck with owning this angry bird and its reputation. You can recognize the Canada goose by its characteristic black head with white cheeks and chin strap, and its long black neck. What is interesting is that this goose in one region may look vastly different to one in another area. That is because there's actually 11 subspecies of Canada goose with large differences in size and weight. Smaller subspecies are the size of a large duck, going up to the largest race weighing over 9 kilograms and have a wingspan of more than a meter. Flocks of geese can be recognized by their energy-efficient V-flight formation with loud, steady honking. This wedge or skein formation allows them to cover up to 2,400 kilometers in a single day of flight. At the turn of the 20th century, unregulated hunting and loss of habitat brought the Canada goose to the edge of extinction. A concerted effort by wildlife officials and aviculturalists were able to boost their numbers by breeding the birds on their homesteads and introducing them to new areas. As human populations expanded areas and provided manicured lawns, waterfronts, and the forests were converted to farmland, the geese flocked to these areas that had abundant food supplies and few predators. The geese had become quite comfortable now in mild climates, with many that have stopped migrating altogether, and they stay in the same place year-round. It's difficult to imagine the Canada goose was almost extinct, seeing the huge populations today, with an estimated 7 million geese living in North America. Despite their North American origins, the birds were introduced to, or eventually migrated to, other countries such as the UK, Ireland, Finland, Sweden, Denmark, Russia, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Korea, Chile, Argentina, and the Falkland Islands. Now everyone can enjoy the Canada Goose. The geese are not afraid of a threat and will often attack pets and people. They don't have many predators, but they are known to stretch out their necks while hissing and honking loudly, biting and slapping their wings when feeling threatened. They have earned the nickname Cobra Chicken, which was first mentioned in a tweet in 2018. The nickname has stuck and is an apt representation of its lovely demeanor. The goose is considered a pest due to its tendency to graze on lawns, which leads to unsanitary hmm, everywhere and damage to soil and ground covering by compaction. Trying to deter the geese from country clubs, lawn enthusiasts and the agricultural community can be an expensive undertaking. Canada geese are also noisy, territorial, and they can stalk and beg for food near humans. 
You may not think of Canada geese and traffic hazard go together, but according to the Manitoba Public Insurance, the geese have caused an annual average of approximately $372,528 in car crash claims between 2015 and 2018. So, does the cobra chicken have any good qualities? Let's get into some interesting facts and I'll let you decide. Canada geese are monogamous and most couples stay together throughout their lifetime. They are emotional creatures and have been observed mourning over the death of a mate or the loss of eggs. The oldest living Canada goose was 80 years old in captivity. In the wild, life expectancy is just over 30 years. A group of geese can be called either a gaggle, a blizzard, a chevron, a knot, a plump, or a string. Goslings begin communicating with their parents while still in the egg. The Canada goose is considered a game bird. Researchers have found that Canada geese actually have 13 different calls, ranging from loud greetings and alarm calls to low clucks and murmurs when they are feeding. Goslings are very impressionable and will follow anything that moves, mistaking it for their mother. Goslings can swim 24 hours after hatching and can dive 30 to 40 feet underwater. Canada geese have babysitters. They form gang broods which are groups of 20 to 100 goslings from different parents that move around and feed together in the accompaniment of a few adults, while the other adults can forage for food on their own. I hope you liked this small snapshot into the goose associated with Canada. If you enjoyed this video, there's a few things you can do to support our channel. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and leave a comment. For more content about Canada, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon to be notified of our next video upload. Thank you so much for watching.